All right, so we have all the wheels off. Here's a good look in the sun. Uh, look at, these things are hit. They look good in photos from far away, but each wheel is literally hit. So we're gonna be um, power washing them, or just washing them. I'm gonna purple power them. And then we are going to polish them. I think that's overspray. Yeah, that's overspray. But yeah, it's, it's horrible. So we're gonna be giving these crazy but the metal is stripped clean I used Dawn dish soap and some purple power so now we have a super clean surface all we need to do is polish
Alright, what's up you guys? Don't mind my bags. Uh, it's currently 7.30 in the morning. I just got off work two hours ago. Something like that. Yeah, an hour ago. Either way, normally I go to bed right now. But I figured I'd stay up while the girls are asleep. Wife just left, left for work. So I got a few hours out here before the girls end up waking up. Um, but yeah, today's going to consist of polishing my wheels. I will say that this thing is a bust. Um, I tried using it. It just kept falling apart on me. It wasn't working like how I wanted. So, uh, yeah. But I did find out that my headlight polisher works pretty well around the edges on the hardware. So... That's good, the only thing is, is literally around the hardware. But, we have a solution. So I ended up going to Walmart, cashing out. I spent like uh, 50 bucks. We got some white diamond polish. I heard good stuff about this. So I'm gonna try this. It's more like a liquid, so it's kind of like this. And I'm almost out of this stuff, so. I figure I'd pick up some more liquid polish, and then obviously you can't go wrong with the mothers. This is only like five bucks, and for five bucks, I mean, can't beat it. But we also bought the power cone, so I'm hoping this power cone is able to get in between the hardware and around the hardware, and then obviously some microfibers, so. I say we get to it because we have a lot of polishing to do. Look how horrible these things are. Yeah, they're literally horrible. But this is what we're, this is what they're starting to look like. Not bad. But I say we get to it. on top of bad news I guess we'll start with good news though so the good news is the power cone is working on the lips itself but um, the cone is actually very very soft and it squishes down very easily so the minute I press down and in, in between the hardware it just it don't really work so I need like a firm sponge um, the only other way to do this would be to take out all the hardware and then make it a flat surface, like a flat ring all the way around. Then I could easily polish it all. So, um, 
yeah, this is kind of where I'm at. It sucks. And I guess the other bad news is these are eight millimeter 12 point and the smallest I have is a nine millimeter 12 point. So I can't take the hardware out right now. So I'm stuck with that and I can't polish in between the hardware. So I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just gonna give the outer lips a good polish and we'll worry about in between the hardware some other time. But for now, we'll just get the majority of them polished up. I swear it's always something. This really sucks. I really do not wanna to go to the show like this. Man, look at that. That's horrible. I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna have to send it because I'm not putting stocks on this car. <sighs> man, oh man. All right, so it's kind of obvious on which two I've done already. Obviously, you can see I did this one and this one. We got two more to go. I literally said, fuck all that. I'm literally doing it by hand, like I've always done. And they're still not perfect. They have surface scratches all over them. I can't even get in between the hardware, but overall they're shiny. That's all that matters. So obviously you can tell how dull these two are and then how shiny these two are. I'm just gonna send it. This whole car is not even perfect. Look at the fender, mismatched fender with fucked up arches. So it, honestly, I don't even care. I just wanna get these things shined up and put back on the car. That's all I want. I'm kinda of mad I even spent the money on the, the power cone and the stupid white diamond. I could have literally just been fine with the $5 mothers and some microfibers. <sighs> I just want to get this done. All right, so here's the before and here's the after. And all we're using is just some compound, compound polish. You can just tell how dirty and greedy 